Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Laika Productions, on behalf of you all, you are all very welcome as we are all set to Siddharth, the rock star, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, uh, we saw the energy in that song, Jobi Video I I. We are loving it. First things first, what do you have to say to all these amazing people here? Um, Namaskar. In the area of Bombay, I had a film premiere of a film called Rangde Basanti. And at the end, I had a chance to get a chance to get a mic and get a chance to get a mic. So I said, my name is Siddharth and I and my friends have ये फिल्म बनाई है तो जो करण सिंघानिया का जो डायलॉग था वो मेरा उस टाइम का अनफॉर्गेटेबल मेमोरी बना था क्योंकि करण सिंघानिया और रंगदे बसंती नाम की फिल्म को अभी इतने साल हो गए हैं फिर भी बहुत फ्रेश है सबके जहन में और अभी भी बहुत लोग उस फिल्म के बारे में बात करते हैं सवाल पूछते हैं मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है इस बात की कि मैं इतने साल बाद आप इसी हिंदी फिल्म मीडिया के सामने खड़ा हूँ और इस बार मैं फिर से गर्व से ये कह सकता हूँ मेरा नाम सिद्धार्थ है और मैंने और मेरे जो अध्यापक और मेरे जो भी गुरुजी सब हैं उन्होंने मिलके ये फिल्म बनाई है इस फिल्म का नाम है हिंदुस्तानी टू जीरो टॉलरेंस सबसे पहली बात आपने बहुत सारे प्रेस मीट्स अटेंड किए होंगे जो भी इस टीवी या यूट्यूब के जरिए मुझे देख रहे हैं वो बोल रहे हैं साउथ वाली फिल्म है साउथ फिल्म का प्रमोशन चल रहा है सबसे पहली बात मैं आपकी गलत फहमी दूर कर दूं ये साउथ की फिल्म नहीं है अगर ये साउथ की फिल्म होती तो पिक्चर का नाम साउथ इंडियन या यू नो दक्षिण भारतीय होता पिक्चर का नाम हिंदुस्तानी है ये एक असली पैन इंडियन और इंडियन पिक्चर और भारतीय पिक्चर है और इस फिल्म में दो बहुत बड़े दिग्गजों के साथ मैंने काम किया है एक उनमें से वो हैं जिन्होंने 21 साल पहले मेरी पहली फिल्म रिलीज हुई थी तो उन्होंने मुझे पहली बार बतौर एक एक्टर दुनिया को इंट्रोड्यूस किया था और मुझे मौका दिया था कि मैं एज एन एक्टर अपना करियर बना सकूं उन दिग्गज का नाम है द ग्रेट शंकर सर एंड ही इज हियर तो मैं एक शंकर प्रोडक्ट हूं सिनेमा में और वो मैं बहुत गर्व के साथ कहता हूँ और इस मंच पर मैं फिर से मेरे शंकर सर को थैंक्स बोलना चाहूँगा कि उन्होंने मुझे इस मेरी जो पूरी ज़िंदगी है आधी ज़िंदगी से ज़्यादा मैंने बतौर एक एक्टर गुजारा है तो ये मेरी ज़िंदगी है तो मेरी ज़िंदगी का जो पहला कदम था उन्होंने मेरा हाथ पकड़ के मुझे चलवाया था तो उसके लिए उनको बहुत धन्यवाद लेकिन उससे ज़्यादा धन्यवाद मैं उनको बताना चाहूँगा कि इक्कीस साल बाद उन्होंने मुझे फिर से एक मौका दिया है एक फिल्म एक पिक्चर में एक्ट करने का लेकिन इस बार मेरे सामने कमल हसन सर एक्ट कर रहे थे सो इस मौके के लिए फिर से मैं उनका शुक्रगुजार हूँ और मैं उनको बहुत बहुत तह दिल से थैंक यू बोलना चाहूँगा अब आता हूँ मैं आ, मेरे गुरुजी, मेरे आ, मेंटर मेरे सब कुछ मेरे कमल हसन सर के बारे में मैं दो शब्द बोलना चाहूँगा देखिए आज की तारीख में आप लोग पैन इंडिया वगैरह वगैरह बोलते हैं कभी आपको फ्री टाइम मिला तो यूट्यूब पे अपू राजा का हंड्रेड डेज़ का फंक्शन का वीडियो ज़रूर देखिएगा वो एक हिंदी फिल्म थी जो हमारे कमल सर ने प्रोड्यूस की थी और, और आ, दो रोल्स निभाए थे अपू और राजा के और उस फिल्म के अगर आप सौ हंड्रेड डेज़ का फंक्शन देखेंगे जो भी हिंदी सिनेमा के दिग्गज माने जाते हैं वो सब आपको उस वीडियो में दिखाई देंगे तो इसका मतलब है कि 30 साल पहले ही मद्रास से आए एक शख्स ने पूरी ये जो ज्योग्राफी है उसको ना सिर्फ हिला दिया सबको भुला दिया क्योंकि वो एक इंडियन पैन इंडियन पैन ग्लोबल पैन यूनिवर्सल स्टार हैं हमारे कमल हसन साहब आज अगर मैं एक एक्टर हूँ मैं रोज़ उनके साथ काम कर चुका हूँ इनके सालों में वो मेरे साथ पहली बार इस फिल्म में काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन मैंने हर दिन जिस कैमरा के सामने मैंने अपनी अदाकारी दिखाई है वो मेरे अंदर से मुझे गाइड कर रहे हैं तो आज वो इस फिल्म में मैं उनके साथ अगर मुझे एक्ट करने का मौका मिला है दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अनफर्गेटेबल मेमोरीज ऑफ माय होल लाइफ एंड कमल हसन सर टीचर्स अस मेनी थिंग्स उन्होंने हमेशा बताया है कि पिक्चर बात करती है पिक्चर की जो कहानी है वो बात करती है और हम एज एक्टर्स हमारा ये 
जिम्मा बनता है कि जो भी लेखक जो भी लिखते हैं उसे हम ठीक से और पूरे तह दिल से हम वो काम करें तो वो मैंने उनसे सीखा है और इस फिल्म में जो उन्होंने काम किया है आप तो देख रहे हैं जो आप आपके सामने ट्रेलर है लेकिन इस फिल्म के लिए उन्होंने जितने दिन दिए हैं और उन दिनों में जितने घंटे दिए हैं और उन घंटों में उन्होंने जितना पेशेंस दिखाया है क्योंकि उनका मेकअप रोज सुबह साढ़े तीन से चार घंटा लगता था और फिर वो उसी मेकअप में पूरा दिन बैठते थे और पानी भी नहीं पीते थे ठीक से क्योंकि अगर स्ट्रॉ के बिना कुछ भी खाओ तो मेकअप हिल जाता था तो वो एक स्ट्रॉ के साथ लिक्विड फूड जब भी उनका थोड़ा बहुत टाइम मिलता था वो खाते थे और पीते थे और पूरा दिन इसी काम पे लगे थे और उसके बाद जब पैकअप बोला जाता था और मैं घर चला जाता था वो बैठ के डेढ़ घंटा अपना मेकअप उतारते थे और उसकी वजह से उन्होंने एक दिन भी शिकायत नहीं की कभी नो कंप्लेंट एंड जस्ट लाइक इस पिक्चर का टैगलाइन जीरो टॉलरेंस है हमारे कमल सर को अगर आर्ट पूरी तरह से निभाया नहीं जाए उसके बारे में वो जीरो टॉलरेंस रखते हैं तो अपना वो दो हर दिन हर दिन देते हैं एंड इट्स बिन एन एब्सोलूट गिफ्ट टू वॉच हिम वर्क ये फिल्म जो है ये आज की तारीख में बहुत मैं एक ज़रूरी फिल्म मानता हूँ क्योंकि जिन हालातों से दुनिया और ख़ास करके हमारा देश गुजर चुका है और आज जब हम करप्शन की बात करते हैं जब हम बोलते हैं कि कॉमन मैन को गुस्सा कब आएगा कॉमन मैन अपना गुस्सा दिखाता है और हम देख चुके हैं जो वो अपना जो सोचने का ढंग है उसे अपने मतदान से दिखाता है लेकिन उसके आगे क्या किया जाए और हम लोग कॉलेज की चाय के टपरी में बैठ के बात करते थे यार काश एक बंदा होता जो आके सब सेट कर देता यू you नो know? वो एक बंदा हिंदुस्तानी है तो अगर वैसा हिंदुस्तानी आज के हालात में फिर से आके सबको डर और खौफ जो लोग जो करप्शन करते हैं जो गुनाह करते हैं जो दूसरों के जीने का ढंग खराब करते हैं अगर उनमें एक डर पैदा कर सके वो आए तो क्या बात है तो वो है इस पिक्चर का पूरा जो यूनिवर्स और उस यूनिवर्स का सेंटर है ये यूनिवर्सल कैरेक्टर ऑफ सेनापति और ये फिल्म जैसे मैंने कहा था ये हर एक भारतीय नागरिक के बारे में है ये हर एक भारतीय फैमिली के बारे में है और ये हम सभी के बारे में है तो इस फिल्म में मैंने जो सीखा है वो मैंने इन दोनों से सीखा है और मुझे इस फिल्म ने जो सिखाया है वो मैं जानता हूँ कि जुलाई बारह तारीख को ये फिल्म रिलीज होने वाली है मेरे साथ जब हम सब मिल ये फिल्म देखेंगे जो भी शिक्षा मुझे मिली है वही शिक्षा ऑडियंस को ये फिल्म पहुँचाएगी और वो बहुत ज़रूरी एक मैसेज है एंड आई थिंक इट्स अ फिल्म दैट विल इन्वॉल्व एंड इंक्लूड एवरीबॉडी एंड क्योंकि जो लोग बोलते हैं करप्शन किसकी वजह से होता है हम सब की वजह से होता है तो दर इज़ अ रीज़न वी टॉक अबाउट नॉट पॉइंटिंग फिंगर्स एक अगर आप uh, उंगली दिखाते हो तो चार आपकी तरफ मुड़ के कुछ बता रही हैं तो ये फिल्म सारे ऐसे टॉपिक्स डील करती है एंड इट इज़ माई एब्सोलूट ऑनर टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस फिल्म एंड दिस क्रू और इस फिल्म के जो टेक्नीशियंस और बाकी एक्टर्स और एक्ट्रेस यहाँ नहीं आ पाए उनके बिहाफ पे भी मैं आप सबको थैंक यू बोलना चाहूँगा क्योंकि बहुत लोगों ने बहुत काम बहुत वक्त बहुत बहुत प्यार से इस फिल्म में काम किया है और आज हम हमारे शंकर सर का जो विजन देख रहे हैं वो आई कॉन्ट टेल यू हाउ एक्साइटिंग इट इज़ फॉर मी टू टेल यू दैट यू कैन कम विथ वेरी हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन ये नहीं है कि मैं अपना दिमाग घर पर छोड़ाया या मैं अपना दिल गाड़ी में छोड़ाया सब कुछ साथ बटोर के ले आइएगा क्योंकि ये फिल्म उन सभी से बात करने वाला है और इस फिल्म में मैंने एक और चीज़ मेरे कमल सर से सीखा है और जो मैं बहुत प्राउडली बोल सकता हूँ कि आज हम एक हिंदी फिल्म के प्रेस मीट में आए हैं और इस हिंदी फिल्म के प्रेस मीट में मैं आपसे हिंदी में बात कर रहा हूँ और कमल सर आपसे हिंदी में बात करेंगे क्योंकि कमल सर और मैंने इस फिल्म को तमिल तेलुगु और हिंदी तीनों भाषाओं में अपनी आवाज़ में डब की है और वो मैं उनसे सीखी है मैंने वो बात और आई होप दैट दिस फिल्म विल बी सीन एज अ ट्रू इंडियन फिल्म एंड ऑल ऑफ यू विल गिव इट ऑल द लव एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली जो हमारे बुजुर्ग हैं जिन्होंने जुन्हों, हमें चलना सिखाया वो जब आज की उम्र में खुद दौड़ रहे हैं तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि हम सब पे कितना इम्प्रेशन पड़ता है एंड हाउ इंस्पायर्ड वी आर टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस इनक्रेडिबल टीम ऑफ जेंटलमैन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर मेकिंग दिस फिल्म सर आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू बी योर प्रोडक्ट एंड आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू बी योर स्टूडेंट थैंक यू सो मच जुलाई ट्वेल्थ वील सी यू इन सिनेमास थैंक यू दस फैब्यूल जोरदार तालियाँ सिद्धार्त भाई के लिए लेस इन जर्मन इतनी शिद्दत और सच्चाई से उन्होंने ये बातें की हैं यहाँ पे कि मैं इसको मैं इसके ऊपर कुछ नहीं बोल पाऊंगा मैं सिर्फ यही कहूंगा जोरदार तालियां शंकर सर के लिए लेडीज एंड जेलमैन एक एक भारतवासी की तरफ से एक एक हिंदुस्तानी की तरफ से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद ये फिल्म बनाने के लिए 
एंड वट डू यू हैव टू से टू ऑल दी अमेजिंग पीपल हेयर सर आप क्या बोलना चाहेंगे सबसे पहले फिर मैं अपने सवाल दाखता हूँ गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी एंड ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स बैक आई डिड दिस फिल्म एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वॉज डूइंग अदर फिल्म आफ्टर फ्यू ईयर्स नो वैन आई गो थ्रू द न्यूज़ पेपर एंड न्यूज चैनल एंड ऑल आई एम सींग द सेम न्यूज लाइक स्टिल द ब्राइब इज देयर everywhere in every state so i i always be thinking like uh, if the hindustani come back in this situation and my thought process will go on and i'll be trying to write some story and all but I, i'm not able to crack it because uh, then i'll be doing another movie and after that movie i used to the, see the newspaper the same thing the same bribe news is everywhere in every newspaper and every channel so again i'll start thinking like how if senapati comes back i mean in hindustani comes back and all so after every movie you know i used to write a story you know for regarding this and uh, mainly i took lot of time uh, for what not to do because already we have shown this this character what Uh, this character will do and what this film is dealing about and all so slowly it took lot of time for me to decide what not to do okay finally like after doing 2.0 no i cracked the story and i felt if hindustani comes now what will happen all of my films are like if it happens how it looks like this is also the same kind of thing if senapati i mean hindustani comes now what will happen and what he will do so that is a story and uh, my first part is uh, it's uh, revolving around one state and now this uh, part 2 is spreading all over the country it's going all over the state and each and every family in the country can uh, connect with this movie and they will be totally engaged that's what i believe strongly and uh, after the movie is over i strongly believe everybody will start thinking what we um we as a story what we did in this film so that is the thing and uh, about kamal sir like uh, um siddharth explained about the prosthetic makeup and all like is a one uh, extraordinary actor very 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 rare actor in the country even in the world we can say because like for example one scene we shot the most difficult scene and uh, we shot for four days all the four days he was uh, hanging in the rope that scene is with uh, uh, piyush mishra ji and he is also on the rope for four days wow. not one shot from morning to pack up they have to hang on the rope okay and then prosthetic makeup and he has to speak punjabi language and not only that we we shot that uh, scene 48 frames i mean slow motion so what we have to do first he has to perform and we have to record in the nagara in 12 frames i mean we record and we have to play in the 12 frames so the sound will like look like like chik 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 you know like fast sound will come so with that sound he has to sync his performance by hanging in the rope putting this uh, prosthetic makeup and other language and he has to sync and perform for that very fast uh, uh, playing sound and not only that he will be drawing something with his hands also the most difficult scene i think nobody can do that kind of performance uh, anywhere else like that so such an actor and uh, and a lot of things uh, the, uh, we have to say about him like you no know, when he comes to the set he know what is the scene and he will go through the dialogue and he know what is the shot and he will be uh, seeing where is the camera is placed and where all the co-stars and what are all the props around there for one camera or two camera everything he will keep in mind he will act for all the three cameras at once like Uh, so i used to tell him like is just a 360 degree into 360 degree actor wow. 
and we, we can go on and on about uh, uh, Kamal sir. I'm so proud and I'm happy to be associated with him once again. Thanks for this opportunity, sir. And uh, Siddharth, I'm so proud because I introduced him uh, in the movie Boys and now his uh, growth is uh, like, I'm so happy, like you can see the performance in the movie. He did very well and Piyush Misraji and I have to thank the production designer no, that gold set and the one futuristic set, he did a great job. Uh, for your information, you, uh, you may know that he did the production designing for Jawan also. Yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> Basco Caesar, they choreographed one beautiful song in this movie. And uh, all actors in the movie, they did a great job. Anirudh did a very, very good music. First time I'm joining with him and he has delivered what I expected. I did a great job and I would like to thank all the actors and technicians. I mean, Rakul Preet Singh and Vivek and Bobby Simma, Samudra Ghani. You know, there's a big star cast in the movie. I would like to thank all the actors and the technicians for, the, for their great effort. And I would like to thank the media who supported the part one. And uh, I hope you'll be supporting this part also. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Aapne sabko thank you bola. Main ek ek sinne lover ki taraf se aapko thank you bolna chahta hu. Thank you so much for doing this aur itne kamal andaz mein. Zor dar taliya shankar sir ke liye ladies and gentlemen. Aur ab baat ho gayi hai unki. Ab baat nikli hai to dhoor tar lag jayegi. And unki kya thi? You know, talking about uh, his work. Koi bhi shabd chota padega. Main sirf yehi kahunga. Zor dar taliyon se swagat kijiye. Kamal Hasan saab. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Please, okay. <laughs> Namaskar. Let me first thank you for teaching me a lesson. I used to think I am from Tamil Nadu, and that's my place. You taught me 35 or more years ago that I am an Indian. <laughs> I was just a South Indian actor. You people made me into an Indian actor. I'm ever so grateful. So I didn't know a word of Hindi when I was doing my first film. I was exactly what the hero of Ek Du Jekeli was. And without your support, your applause, I couldn't have come back onto this stage. And it looks like only a few days back, I was saluting my gurus. And now here is a gentleman who's calling me a guru. I don't know whether to accept it or doubt myself. <laughs> because I always doubted myself because I have worked with some of the greatest teachers who have put me on this stage. And uh, some of them have been from here. I'm, I'm a great fan and a student of Yusuf Saab, uh, Dilip Kumar Saab, that is. I don't know how many people knew because it was a secret pact. I used to come here whenever I can on December, on his birthday, and kneel before him to kiss his hand. I am a movie, movie buff, and I am a child of cinema. I came to act when I was three years old. My first film released when I was just about to hit five. Here I am, still working. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So just one little question. You know, when, when you were making this film, with Shankar sir, with this amazing team. What was that one thing jiska khayal aap sab ne rakha ki hume ye karna hai? What were you, what, what exactly did you consider that this is what we are supposed to do for Hindustani too? I must uh, tell you one occasion where it was a long, very important, very emotional shot. It is not there in this part, it's in the third part. And he said, I like it, we have a technical 
issue. I want you to do the same thing again. I said, sorry, sir. I may not be able to do the same thing. It will be something else. And he agreed. And that's what you'll see in the third part. So I don't, I don't plan too much. Right. Right. They have a script. Yeah. And I can't just read the script. Okay. I enact the script. And then people around me prod me in the right direction. And the scene happens. Right. That's a magic I enjoy even before you people enjoy the magic of our cinema. Right, right. So I, I really don't know how things happen. I don't remember. As a matter of fact, I won't remember any of my film's dialogue. Okay. People, when they repeat it, I'm surprised. How did they memorize it? <laughs> but I had for that moment, and right. then I'm washed clean, vessel ready for another dinner. Right, right. And we remember all your performances, sir, all your dialogues, all your movies, because you are the great Kamal Hassan Saab, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we have a special guest here, of course, the superstar uh, director. At least, sir, I am here. We'd love to hear from you. What do you have to say about this great team of Hindustani 2? Of course, we had this amazing event uh, at Chennai this uh, morning. Uh, people went crazy. And now here, we just saw the trailer. What do you have to say, sir? Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, I'm the biggest fan of uh, Shankar, sir. I worked with Shankar, sir, for six years. And he's my guru. The day I wanted to get into cinema uh, is by seeing his films, and uh, especially the film, Indian, had given a great impact in me as a writer and director. And I am always a fan of Hindustani 1. And now I'm going to be the fan of Hindustani 2. And uh, it's a very, uh, it's a long wait, but still you have to wait for the best things to come in life. So I think this, this is going to be the best film for the entire Indian country. We're going to be, be uh, very proud of this film. I know about this film because uh, uh, I think 10 years back once when we were in a shooting, uh, when I was working as an AD with Sir, Sir mentioned about uh, an idea, sh should we do Indian too? I I'm saying about uh, in 2005-06, he was mentioning that time robot was happening. So I think it's a long vision and a big vision and it's going to come into theatre. And whatever I have seen till this second is something unimaginable. And uh, to be very precise, now we are talking Pan-India, now we are talking about films that uh, crosses boundary. I think... Uh, I think Hindustani is the film, uh, crossed every boundary and uh, there were a lot of fans for that film and uh, that's going to shower again. And uh, moreover, to talk about uh, Kamal sir, uh, Kamal sir is the Bible of Indian cinema and uh, he has given everything. <coughs> what you ask for, if you, I think even my son meets uh, in future, if he needs to know about cinema, first he has to see all his films and know what is cinema. And he's a Bible and encyclopedia of cinema. I always woe him. And I want to work with you, sir. Uh, well, someday I will crack a script and come to you, sir. And Siddharth is my good friend. And moreover, Ani, Ani is not here. Ani is the best musician. Uh, uh, he, he has given Jawan, and this is going to be the uh, next big album. And I'm a big fan of Para song. And uh, that's it I can say now. And uh, you tell me, bro. All good, sir. So good to see you. <laughs> At least, sir, ek bar zor dar taliya ho jaye. Of course, uh, we have to talk about the producers, sir. Like a production, Subhash Karan, sir. Uh, before this, they've uh, produced movies like 2.0, PS1, PS2. And they've, of course, distributed some of the biggest films. Uh, Tamil Nadu territory, mein, be it RRR, Push Power, Sita Ramam. Shankar, sir, this one's for you. Talking about the budget of this film, because that is something the entire nation, the entire world has been talking about since the day the movie was announced. What do you have to say, sir? The production values, the budget? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, other producer is supposed to produce this movie. And when Subhash, sir, came to know that I'm going to do this Indian too, for some other producer, he called me as a friend. I'm your good friend. I like this movie a lot. You should do for me only. So, no, with a lot of affection and friendship, he requested to do this film for him. So, that is how it started. 
and um, I have a lot of imaginations. No, like um, some imagination will be very big, and some imagination will be very difficult to execute, and some imagination will be very expensive. And uh, no, whatever without the support of the producer, Mr. Subhaskaran, no, uh, this film will not been possible because I can dream. But my dream will be always a dream only. It won't come into reality unless such a lovely producer um, support for this movie. Wow. Wow. Let's hear it for Laika Productions and Subhash sir, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, ab jis pal ka intezar aap sab kar rahe the, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So, kahan se aara hai pehla sawal? We'll take questions aap sab ke. De di ji, please mic upar. Ji. Kamal sir. Hello. Words, you are right. Hello, sir. This side. Hello, sir. Ravi sir, I come. I have. I'll quickly come to you. Sir, I remember Hindustani one. I mean, Hindustani. Today, I remember the whole thing. When the first film was released, it was a huge success. At that time, the internet and social media were not there. So today, these two are. So, how much will the effect of your film be seen in your film? It's a lot. I have seen it in the trailer. Lot of it is there. As a matter of fact, uh, he personifies that internet era in the film, and a few more actors, able actors with him, uh, they play an important part in the expose of not only corruption but of Hindustani, the hero itself. Uh, hello, Kamal sir. This is Ravi Jain from ABP News. Towards your right, sir. Kamal sir, this film was 28 years ago. We were watching movies in the 70s and 80s too. I saw some movies on TV on Black and White. There was also a talk about corruption. There was a talk about changing the system. There was a talk about 28 years ago. There was a talk about Hindustani. There was a talk about 28 years ago. There was a talk about more things. What do you think that why don't the things change, uh, change and which badlao ka baega? So, kya main rafrat karo ya shukriya da ampo? What have we done? It is us. And the politicians are none other than one of the populace. We are all responsible for the corruption and we must all change our mind. And the best time to change our mind is during elections. These are just reminders of how corrupt we have become. You told me about black and white era. Nothing has changed thanks to corruption. Everything will change thanks to the collective conscience. Thank you. Okay. Sir, one small question. Sir, one small question. That you have been in the past 50-60 years हर तरह के किरदार निभाए हैं पुष्पक की बात हो तो उसमें आपने एक साइलेंट किरदार निभाया था नायकन की बात हो मर्जतम की फिल्म अब पुराजा की बात हो उस तरह के किरदार कभी किसी ने निभाए नहीं आप सब कुछ कर दे कर चुके हैं मैं जानना चाहूँगा कि इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिनेमैटिक अचीवमेंट और ऐसी क्या चीज आप करना चाहेंगे क्योंकि आज की तारीख में भी आप उतने ही इन्वॉल्व हैं सिनेमा मेकिंग में आफ्टर so many years in the cinema, allowing me to do another film itself is a great thing. Thank you. Thank you all. So uh, I think every time I surprise myself, I, I live a dream. So dream mein kabhi urte hain, kabhi marte hain, kabhi we become something else. I've become all that thanks to you and I'm continuing to do that. The next opportunity I get to perform before you is a miracle for me. Kamal sir here, yeah. Kamal sir and Shankar sir. Okay, just a sec. You sir wants to say something. Partly by experience, I come from that uh, 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 kind of place that uh, my, I belong to a small village called Paramakudi. So that taught me a lot and my gurus like Mr. K. Balachandar and other great writers in not only Tamil Nadu but in uh, North. I'm a great fan of Mr. K. Asif. And they taught me how to hold this uncontrollable horse called 
cinema and yet have a good ride jinko sawal sunai nahi diya hoga piyush sir said how did you write tevar magan tevar magan so those of you who don't film. know this film please google kijiyega t h e v a r m a g a n tevar magan it is one of the greatest films ever made in this country and piyush mishra sahab ke bol agar main churanu to it's the best adaptation of godfather in any language and that is written by kamal sir and he's also the lead actor in the film so please i would i would really request you to watch that film also but you've seen another you've seen virasat yeah. right virasat ka original tevar magan hai uski baat yeah. chal rahi hai so Chal. i wanted to do it only with yusuf sahab when he said i'm not going to do any more films then i sold the rights to somebody because i didn't want couldn't think of anybody else because while i knew i was doing it with the greatest actor i knew when i was born in tamil nadu shivaji sahab and through him he translated yusuf sahab for me i i could understand that acting transcends language and so that was a dream that didn't come through but somebody else made it and made it very well it became a success so that to explain my film he just has to say virasat <laughs> i thank those film makers he is also a friend of mine for doing that so well that people will remember the address of my film through that film kamal sir and sir. sir how i wrote the film is i was thinking of shivaji sahab i was thinking of my native place i was thinking of myself and things just happened i wrote it in 7 days Kamal sir and Shankar sir on your left. Kamal sir and Shankar sir on your left. Yeah, Simran Singh. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Kamal yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Thank you so much for you know inspiring us. Thank you so much. But the Pan India word is, you and Rajesh sir have very early established it. Yes, sir. So thank you so much for being there and inspiring us for ever. So my sir, two questions. First, a small question is that if we talk about Indian, ke baat kare, so what will be the age of Senapati? Because I remember Krishna Swami, when Indian mein, there's a scene where you know he looks into the bio data of Senapati. So her, his birth year was 1918. So if we talk about that, so he's 106 years old. So you give him first clarity. I'd like to be 140, but I don't know that age has to be de determined by him. I'd like to act even when I'm 120. Woo! <laughs> Shankar sir, would you li like to add something to this? On the clarity, the continuation of the See, um, there is a martial arts uh, uh, a master in China. His name is uh, Lucy Jian. At the age of 120, he's performing the martial arts. He's flying, he's kicking and all like. So this Senabadi character is also is a master. It's a master in martial arts, ancient martial arts called Varma, Varma art. So this master will have a discipline in food, in habits like yoga, meditation, and only one time food and all, no, they take. So if you are a master in your craft and uh, the discipline in your behavior, no, the age doesn't matter. They can perform any kind of stunts. Wow. Okay. For your question, I have seen Goje Yamaguchi, the sixth dan of Budokai in Chennai when he was 89. So it, it's possible, but uh, th that's the only example I could think of. Ji, ji, ji. Sir, I, I don't know the Chinese gentleman. Ji, I have another question for you, both of you. Uh, ki journey, sir, film ki journey jo rahi hai, kafi matlab, it's, it's been a difficult journey as well. Matlab, ek saal baad hai, but you started pre-COVID, then there was COVID. And there was two waves of COVID, which an incident bhi hua tha aapke pe. So, ye sab hata ke, then the, this film is coming. So, how do you look upon to the journey? It's been quite a tough journey and inspiring on the same level. Uh, I think we, we all will have to share the answer. Because Please. It, when somebody was asking about the budget, the budget was not just decided by the director and the script. COVID decided our budget. Some of the accidents delayed and increased the budget. The tenacity of purpose of both the director and the producer has to be applauded even before the film becomes a hit. That I owe to them. So this is that <laughs> applause for them. Because it's very easy to let go. 
<laughs> and let me leave this and go to another work. They didn't do that. Because all of us were working, we had other films to do, and even he had other films, but not to let go of this child, not to orphan this child was a decision taken by Laika Productions and Mr. Shankar. Shankar, uh, uh, hi, this is Shama Bhagat from Bartaman. Uh, I want to ask you, we all know that uh, Kamal Hasanji is a very fantastic actor, but since you're doing the film after so many years, what changes do you see in him as an actor now? See, experience. And uh, the main thing is like uh, is updated acting. That is very important. Like once the actors become senior, you no, know, like keep on doing the roles and all that, they may become repetitive. And you no, know, after a period of time, you no, know, it may get bored for the audience to see their performance. Okay, so um, I'm seeing Kamal sir today. You no, know, all his performance very updated. So that is a special thing I have seen in his performance. But uh, I'll have to say something different about Mr. Shankar. The Shankar that should be today with all the experience, I have seen in the first film. He was very confident. As a, as a matter of fact, I was not too willing to do the movie because I had another story very similar. I said, actors have this problem. I want to do this movie, not this one, and all that. I had that problem also. I want to do it again with Shivaji Saab. But he never budged. Then I raised my money. <laughs> the producer didn't move. He kept, because the director has said, if I make the film, I'll make it only with this gentleman. And he was confident, like a very savvy, seasoned director. That. I was surprised about. The same cool, calm, start and cut I hear even today. That, that's astounding. Kamal sir, how do you define pan-India film? Oh. How do you define a pan-India film? You define it. How <laughs> the audience defines it. it. We, when all of India appreciates a film, it becomes pan India film. Yeah. But is we just make films. Satyajit Ray Saab didn't make pan India films. He made Bengali films. We made it international. The world made it international. So also that what do I know about Mughalism? What do I know about Shambhanagal Saab Ankur? I understood it. We made it pan Indian film. I made it pan Indian film. Uh, As a fan, we all went and saw it, our jaw dropped, and we adopted that film. It became a pan-Indian film. You are the magic to make a film pan-Indian. India is the magic. Uh, so, uh, hi. To uh, your left. Uh, sir, uh, can I ask? Uh, here, to your left. Uh, Kamal, sir. To your left. No, who's uh, asking? Should I ask? Or who here, here, here. Ask, sir. Well, who? Uh, there, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody is dubbing for you. One minute. Yeah. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a bad dubbing. Uh, uh, sir, so, um, so you have been the encyclopedia. So here, uh, like at least I said, you have been the encyclopedia of, of cinema. You know, beat any cinema in Indian. Okay, uh, but when it comes to the Hindi cinema, you have given so many movies, and you know, today it's like the 32 years completion of SRK and you have directed him, a superstar, and you have directed him. And you know, I want to know how was the experience there and what is the difference that you see in him No, I now? can't hear the question. You, could you hear it? Yeah. He says uh, he s remembers you directing a superstar like SRK and he wants to know, yeah, he's made the interview about SRK. This is a question about SRK. So he says he wants to know the difference you see in him since the day you directed him until now, because it's 32 years of... Uh, Let me talk Shah. on behalf of Mr. SRK, because I'm sure that he'll allow me to do that. When we work together, we are all just people. I don't see a superstar. He doesn't see a super director. Doesn't see... A, we are friends. As a matter of fact, Shah Rukh Saab made that film for free. And what more do you need? That 
cannot be done by a superstar. That it can be done only by a fan, a connoisseur of art, and a good actor. All right. I, um, I'm, I'm ever thankful for him. So we don't see all that. Later on, you give us the titles, and we very shyly accept it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. uh, Hi, so uh, Mayuria. Uh, sir, to your left, please. Kamal, uh, sir. Sir, so my second question to Siddharth. Here. Yeah. Same. Uh, you know, you said that you learned so much from Kamal, sir. But there is something that kind of intrigues me. It's like, what is one thing that you would like to take from him, you know, like, as an actor? No, I'd like to answer this with respect to both of my teachers. Because uh, Shankar, sir, who knows everyone, but every film he does is at a scale jo मामूली लोगों के बस की बात नहीं होती उतना सोचना समझ रहे हो आप हिंदी सिनेमा है सीन सम इनक्रेडिबल मास्टर्स ऑफ ग्रैंडियर एंड क्राफ्ट लाइक के आसिफ साब एंड ऑल द वे अप टू संजीलीला भंसाली सर हु डू स्पेक्टेकल वे एवरी फ्रेम यार एक फ्रेम क्रिएट करने के लिए एक दिन लगता है यू नो सो शंकर सर ह and it's him and the people who believe in him that take it up a mountain and they become forever. So Shankar sir today also directs, imagines, eats and sleeps and dreams cinema the same way. Like I've worked with him for 21 years. I've seen him 21 years apart. And Shankar sir is still the, the weaver of impossible dreams. I call him the merchant of dreams of Indian cinema because he thinks and dreams in ways that will give all of us sleepless nights because it's so expansive. And we were shooting Dada Arare song and every day the setups he would he would make me feel like I was in a dream dancing in that song because to set up every shot it takes 1200 people and I have to dance in the middle of it and I asked him how do you do this every day and he was shooting another film parallelly huh? and he, he doesn't know I always keep spying on him and seeing what he's doing on all his sets he was shooting with 2000 people in another state for another film one day before. And then he's come here at 4.30 in the morning and he's setting up 1,500 people in a shot. And he says, I only know how to make films like this. And I believe him because that's the dreams that he works with. So Shankar sir is the same. He always dreams the impossible dream. And Rai Kamal sir, ki baat, the, what I took away from him, Kamal sir, I have been talking about in 20 years, I have been talking about any other person. If you want to Google it, then you will have to say it before me. So I'm just going to chip it. So I was very copy paste it. So I was just copy paste it. So at that time, I said that I don't want to be a star, I want to be an actor. So they said, why are you doing this? So I said, I just feel like that. So I'm talking about this for 20 years before the interview. So Kamal sir taught me that first of all, my work is to be an actor. Not to be a star or a hero. Because the work of an actor is that the writer is written for him. And the director is doing it. And if those people want, they will be playing. But I don't ask for the people for the people. And I don't expect them to be able to do it in 5 minutes. So I learned from Kamal sir. And the work of the work on the set, the work of the work on the set, the work of the work on the set, I am standing in front of Kamal Asan and my dialogue has given me a dialogue on one page. I am saying, sir, one second. I am going to the same director. Sir, I am standing in front of Kamal Asan. I am saying, sir, I am saying, what will you be doing on me? Then go and act on there. So it was so exciting for us to see him behave like a child. He works like a first timer in every shot. And he doesn't... All of us think that Kamal Asan is on the set, so he will do everything. वो ही सब कुछ प्रोड्यूसर भी वही है डायरेक्टर भी वही है वही गाना गा देंगे वही नाच देंगे वही सब कुछ कर देंगे वैसे उनमें काबिलियत है वो कर सकते हैं लेकिन वो क्या करते हैं वो ऐसे बस जाके डायरेक्टर के सामने पूरा उनका बॉडी लैंग्वेज थोड़ा सबमिशन का होता है बोलिए और वो सुनते हैं ऐसे और पूरा सुन के ठीक है इतना ही होता है उनका और बाकी सब इंटरनल है और वो अपने आप को याद दिलाते रहते हैं कि वो उतने पहुँचे हुए आदमी नहीं है वो बहुत मॉडेस्टी और ह्यूमिलिटी दिखाते हैं so that's what I take from him कि आपको जितना भी मालूम हो, जब आप काम पूरी मतलब आप वो क्या बोलते हैं purity के साथ करते हैं ना आपको ये पहले महसूस होना है कि मुझे कुछ नहीं पता और मैं आज सीखूँगा। तो वो आज भी रोज सीखते हैं और वो मेरे को रात के 11 बजे फोन करके बोलेंगे तुमने ये book पढ़ी है? मैंने कहा मैं तो सो रहा था तो ये book पढ़ो ठीक है सर मैं पढ़ता हूँ अभी पढ़ते रहते हैं फिल्में देखते रहते हैं he's a university he's a walking talking you know university so that's what I learn from him that every day be a student that's why he still says मैं कैसे गुरु कहला सकता हूँ वो अभी भी अपने आप को विद्यार्थी समझते हैं वो ठीक है ना so that is Kamal sir and that's what I've learned from him hi 
to your left, sir. My, I have one question for Mr. Kamal Hassan and one for Siddharth ji. Uh, so, sorry, to your right, sir, please. आप तब से wrong direction दे रहे हैं आप camera को पकड़ के selfie में आप left right parallax कर रहे हैं। Thank you for the patience। हाँ, हाँ। Thank you, sir. I just have one light question, one for Kamal sir and one for Siddharth. And when I talk about Hindustani and it's a cult film and my most cherished memory is this song Telephone Dhun में। But you know, cinema can have a profound effect on someone and for the 28 years, you know, I've been trying to figure out uh, how does, uh, you know, telephone dhun mein hasne wali ya hasne wala, how would, uh, if someone try to enact that in the real life, how would that telephone dhun wali laughter sound? Sir, mujhe laga ye kahani kaha khatam ho ki, I'm going to tell you, I've been thinking that you've got a girl who's been talking about the telephone dhun mein hasne wali ya hasne wala, and you've got a girl who's been talking about the telephone dhun mein hasne wala, and you've got a girl who's been talking about the telephone dhun mein hasne wala, but they're asking how does that girl laugh like a telephone melody, sir? You only created this, that's what he wants to know. I like Kamal sir first if he can. No, no, actually uh, the person to be blamed is Mr. Vairamuthu yes. who created that line and uh, since Hindustani was dubbed in Hindi, yeah. they just picked up that line. It's a very complicated line. What the original poet was trying to say is that when you laugh, it feels like a telephone is ringing. Uh, he sort of confused with the B. L L E and B E L L. I think. Hi, Kamal sir. And Siddharth, Siddharth, I think looking at the trailer and you know even Kamal sir mentioned about the word social media and from whatever I've read online about your character, I think he's called what are the Rajan. And no, no, okay. So it was written that you play this character and your you make social media videos exposing corrupt politicians. Oh, none of it is like that. Look, the story of Indian 2 or Hindustani 2 is that people are writing for 28 years and the past 5 years people are taking theories from the past 5 years. I also read it every day. So, I also read what I have done in the film, you will see on July 12th. But what I have done and people are thinking about their own imagination, I feel good to listen to them. I have inspired so many ideas from this character. But whatever the trailer tells you, जितना सर ने आपको बताना था उन्होंने बता दिया है उसका क्रॉस क्वेश्चनिंग में जवाब देने की मतलब जिम्मा मैं नहीं ले सकता क्योंकि मैंने लिखा नहीं है सो यू सी ऑल ऑफ दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लॉट पॉइंट्स दैट विल बी इन द फिल्म व्हेन यू सी इट हाय कमल सर ऑन योर लेफ्ट समीर हियर फ्रॉम मूवी टॉक इज सर द मीडिया रिपोर्ट से दैट द इंडियन टू वाज टू लॉन्ग एस हाँ तो ठीक है हाँ अंडर लाइफ या सो द मीडिया रिपोर्ट से दैट द इंडियन टू वाज टू लॉन्ग एस अ फिल्म सो इट हैड टू बी यू नो स्प्लिट इन टू पार्ट्स व्हिच मींस इंडियन थ्री इज रेडी सो वुड यू लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट दैट प्रोसेस सी दैट्स अ व्हाट यू कॉल चॉइस ऑफ द Vishwaroop, we read the script, it was 350 pages long. They said, you edit it, it'll make a fantastic film. On day one in Vishwaroop, I was shooting for Vishwaroop part two. Because I'd made the decision, I've told my crew that this is going to be in two parts. We embark on a journey today to make two films, you'll be paid as such. But I'll be shooting sporadically back and forth between two films. Um, but I'll explain the story to you. All of us had a reading, and they'll remember that, all the actors in that film. And that's the kind of decision that Mr. Shankar has made. I'm, I'm very sure we would have given him hell and said, no, let's make one film. That was there in his mind. And above all, like I was ready to do that. <laughs> There are many competent directors who are waiting for the right producer to make one film. He got the opportunity to make two. Why not use it? That's what he must have thought. That's what I think. Yeah, I would like to explain because uh, the part one, as I told before, it only revolves around one state. That part one itself is three hours, 20 minutes film. Now the story spreads all over the country to all the states. So naturally the story become big. Actually our uh, initial idea is to do only one part. After 
start filming and uh, when i sit in the editing room all the scenes from my point of view came out very well if for the sake of no just no you have to make it in one part if i compress the whole thing no the soul of each and every scene the feel of every scene would have been lost so i was thinking like so all the scenes are looking good and it's not boring and i'm able to see there is a two parts in that story and each part has its own strength and whole form and engaging scenes and a start a body and a climax and a finish so it evolved automatically in two parts sir covid jaisi bimari ko suljhate suljhate 3 saal lag gaye na corruption naam ki bimari hai kam se kam do aur picture lagenge hi this is komal panchal from indian express uh, sir my uh, question is for uh, kamal sir and uh, shankar sir actually uh, when uh, indian came out you know in 2006 2007 uh, it gave a kind 96 ma'am uh, sorry 96 huh. i mean so many years ago i was just 10 years old i remember and uh, thank you for reducing our age as <laughs> well so you know it kind of gave that power to the masses to ask questions yeah it it uh, kind of you know people thought that if there is corruption they can ask questions and there is someone like sinapati in us who can ask those questions who can act against uh, corruption uh, today in this political scenario how easy or difficult is it to make a film like that and in the uh, trailer also we say you know that why just why not just flag someone as an anti national when someone is asking questions and that happens a lot today so how do you all navigate uh, through this scenario the situation today and how is it difficult is it to make a film that questions the establishment navigate what ma'am how how do you all then make a film that questions establishment now that's been a problem since the time of the british <laughs> and people were making films even then we will continue to make those kind of films it doesn't matter who is at the top of the establishment that's the not just a film maker that's a citizen's right to ask those questions and we as artists since we represent so many pe- of you people thanks to the applause we believe that you are uh, that we are your representatives hence we talk boldly without thinking of the gelatin yes there is a risk the 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 government can become angry but your applause puts out that fire so make it louder uh ladies and gentlemen we'll take two more questions okay hello hello here yes ma'am sirat and kamal sir aap dono ke liye mera sawal hai jo hindustani 2 ka tag line hai zero tolerance तो देश और समाज से जुड़े ऐसे कौन से मुद्दे हैं जिसके प्रति आप लोग आप दोनों जीरो टॉलरेंस रखते हैं एंड कौन सी ऐसी चीजें जिसे दिल पर पत्थर रख करके टॉलरेट करना पड़ता है व्हाट 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 आर द द इश्यूज इन योर लाइफ दैट यू मेंटेन अबाउट टॉलरेंस i said i am not a great fan of the tolerance business gandhi ji is my hero but who do you tolerate not a friend so i want friendship to grow in this world what do you tolerate is a headache so i don't think uh, but anything that's a headache for the society you must have zero tolerance for find a medicine put it out and yeah. that's what i think हेलो हेलो कमल सर हेलो हेलो कमल मेरा नाम पंकज शुक्ल है एक सवाल कमल जी से है जवाब माय पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू या जीरो टॉलरेंस मींस यू वुड हैव सीन दोस वुड हैव सीन द पार्ट 1 दिस सेनापदी कैरेक्टर नो ही कांट टेक एनीथिंग रॉन्ग सो ही विल किल हिज करप्ट सन दैट इज जीरो टॉलरेंस okay that kind of character is uh, senapati even he can't uh, forgive his own son if he is doing something wrong so mera sawal wahi tha chandru ko lekar ke wo aapne answer pehle hi de diya 
मेरा सवाल ये था कि जब भी कोई भ्रष्टाचार के विरुद्ध लड़ाई लड़ने निकलता है इफ सम इज फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट द करप्शन एंड द करप्शन इज विद इन हिज फैमिली द सुप्रीम सेक्रीफाइस दैट सेनापति गिव्स इज टू किल इज सन इन द फर्स्ट मूवी सो हाउ रेडी वी आर टू हैव ए भगत सिंह एंड महात्मा गांधी और ए सेनापति इन अवर ओन होम ओके देन आई सजेस्ट आई प्रिस्क्राइब इंडियन टू फॉर यू टू सी या थैंक यू आपके सवाल का जवाब फिल्म में है सर ये हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटी है और मैंने भगत सिंह का किरदार निभा लिया है सेनापति के बाजू वाला किरदार निभा लिया है तो मैं थोड़ी बहुत चीजें सीख के जा रहा हूँ तो जो सवाल आप पूछ रहे हो मैं भी उसका जवाब इस फिल्म में आपके साथ ढूंढूंगा बाकी बारह जुलाई को बहुत कुछ देखने को मिलेगा सिनेमा घर में जी आखिरी सवाल ले रहे हैं वहां से हेलो कमल सर दिस इज विनय सर एक इतनी बड़ी पर्सनालिटी होने के बाद इतना फेमस होने के बाद आपने काफ़ी बड़ी पिक्चरें दी हैं तो लोग आपको इंस्पिरेशन मानते हैं तो आप अपने आगे के नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट किस तरह से क्या सोच के आप सिलेक्ट करते हो कि वो इमेज बरकरार रहे कुछ गलत इफेक्ट ना पड़े नो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ बिग पर्सनैलिटी यू आर नॉट द मैन हु सींग माई इमेज इन माई टॉयलेट आई डू ही इज नॉट अ बिग मैन He is yet to become a big man, and I'm working on it. So, <laughs> okay, uh, that's all we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. 12 July is uh, when we'll get to see the movie in theaters. Hindustani 2 Zero Tolerance. Is team ke liye ek baar zor dar taaliyan ho jaye. <laughs>